Formula SAE competition challenges university students to design, build, and then compete with a formula style vehicle. Since it is an engineering competition, a huge part of engineering is going from simulation to validation. For simulation, be it computational fluid dynamics or finite element analysis, at Waterloo we prefer to use ANSYS software. Alright, so on the powertrain team, we use ANSYS a fair bit in the design of our intake manifold. Um, and what we're looking to do here is maximize performance, uh, minimize flow losses, uh, and also make a system that's robust and not going to fail during competition. Um, we start on the fluid side, we do a big parametric design study to try to optimize the geometry for the restrictor. Uh, once we have a design we're happy with there, uh, we can also do some, uh, try a few different designs for our intake plenum, try to minimize flow losses and get a good pressure distribution across all four of our uh, engine cylinders. And then from there, we uh, take those load cases and we bring them over to a mechanical simulation. Um, and then we use that as a loading case. Uh, and we can look at the stresses induced from the uh, fluid flow. And then we can kind of iterate the design from there uh, to try to get a, a good intake. It doesn't cost us any extra weight, um, but it's still robust enough to get us through competition and build a fast race car that performs well. This year, the Aero system focused on redesigning four major subsystems. In the initial phase, we iterated upon the existing wing design to improve aero balance and to significantly increase the downforce of the car. First, we decreased the size of the end plates to allow for more airflow over the wing in the corners. This allows us to increase the downforce where it actually matters. Then, we implemented gurney flaps, which allowed us to run the wings at higher angles of attack to generate more downforce. In the second phase of development for the Aero system, we worked on research and development of a diffuser. Finalized design allowed our team to increase downforce by approximately 80 newtons overall. As part of the project, research was done on how the nose cone effects flow around the rest of the car. It was found that the leading edge of the nose cone could be as low as possible to allow as much airflow to get to the rear wing as possible. The software was highly scalable and very user friendly, allowing us to run our simulations very quickly. CAD interfacing and ability to run parametric design studies using Workbench allowed us to set up and run many simulations. Thanks to ANSYS' software, this year's aerodynamic system generates approximately 80% more downforce while only generating 40% more drag. Our vehicle dynamics calculations show that this is worth approximately half a second per lap. For reference, this is about three to five places at the top level of competition.